weren't ruddy. All the money I'd handed out was getting people spending. Everyone was having a great time and I was getting in on all the fun. I unveiled my new wheels, I purchased a tasty pie and bought myself a submarine. And the captain showed me all the bombs I could shoot off. Well, hey, I'd really like to fire this up someone's yin-yang. So I got straight on my new sub and then I wanted to tell everyone about it. Twitter time! I just got a submarine. Anyone else got one? They're awesome. Hey, I've just locked myself in this thing. Does anyone know where they keep the keys? Found some keys. Ah, oh, shit, they're for Swanee's Toyota. But I had much more to worry about. The dreaded swine flu had hit. So I headed down to the Rad Lab and got my best man on the job. Good old Admiral Oink. But it turned out Oink had started the whole terrible mess. It was just like when I put Swanee in charge of the economy. He buggered that up. Not cool, Swanee. <laughs> But the swine flu was only the tip of the trotter. The silver tail was attacking me for neglecting the environment, and I had to do something. I decided the world wasn't big enough for everyone, so I hopped in my sub and started blasting. And fire! <laughs> Bang! We hit Papua New Guinea. Well done, boys. <laughs> Mr. Ruff, this is madness. Shut up, sailor. With a bit of downtime after my bombing, I decided to check out Swanee's Twitter. Twitter time! Just ate some soup. It got on my pants. Tried to wash my pants, but the toilet flushed them away. Hello? Anyone there? Swanee was totally boring. He had no idea how to use Twitter. But it turned out Grandmaster Flash wasn't too happy about me bombing his country. And he turned up at Rudd headquarters angry as hell. And after he jive-talked my guards, I tried to smooth things over. Uh, I'm real sorry about that, mate. This means war. <laughs> Good luck fighting us without a country. <laughs>